patients. So we just turned the patient in a comfortable position. As you can see, her dressing is on from yesterday period. This dressing is being changed on a daily basis. I'm trying to explain to the family and the caregivers that we are we continue with the daily wound care. As we take the dressing off, we can see that it's significantly improved from the previous visit. We're removing all the old dressing. That brown dressing you see is a duoderm that maintains a waterproof seal. This one was significantly larger over the past six weeks. It has gotten smaller due to using negative pressure therapy or vac therapy. We're just discarding all the old dressing. I'm getting all the supplies that I'm needing, which includes gauze, vosh, which is a type of irrigation. We're cleaning the wound as well as measuring it. I use my rulers to measure the wounds. I know the depth already. There's a superior wound in addition to the central wound that we see on the video camera. The pinkish tissue right there represents the, the healed tissue. It's epithelialized scar tissue. Epithelialization means that it's already filled, basically has already filled in. It will never resume the strength of normal skin. The depth of the wound has significantly decreased as well. There's one small area which you can see at the bottom, that has a larger depth. That's the only area that I'm concerned about at the current time. Right now I'm using skin prep, which makes the dressing stick much better. It also removes all oils. We're trying to be really careful with all the adhesive we're using since your skin is very sensitive to breakdown. As you can see, I'm changing gloves on a frequent basis. All the areas that have Previous blisters or breakdown, it's better to leave open. We can put a little zinc oxide on this. The most important thing is while I'm doing wound care, either myself or other people who do wound care in the home, it's good to have good assistance. You see the caregiver there is using gloves and being able to retract or pull back the skin of the hip to give me good access to the sacral wound or the, this is the coccyx wound. I'm putting something in what's called EPON. It's a collagen-based matrix. It helps fill fill in that area. I use this on chronic wounds frequently. I don't use it usually routinely use it on acute wounds. It doesn't have to be perfect since this gets absorbed by the body and lays down a matrix for wound healing. After this, I'm using an alginate dressing. This one is not adherent. I prefer the adherent one since I'm not too worried much about drainage. Other dressings you have to cut perfectly to size such as higher fire blue. This alginate does not be perfect. I'm just putting it over. This is absorb any residual drainage. I'm putting it very carefully. After this, I'm gonna put gauze. I'm not gonna use that blue adhesive dressing since it seems excessive. I'm using an adhesive waterproof dressing to go on top. Normally I put gauze here, but since there's very little drainage, I just use the adhesive water dressing. I put it in a baseball pattern diamond where the corner goes near the anus. This maintains a better seal. And then I will reinforce this with Tegaderm or a waterproof dressing. I normally reinforce with Tegaderm. The, the father sometimes doesn't want me to use Tegaderm. In this scenario, we're using a piece of Duoderm as well as Tegaderm. Instead of using Tegaderm, I'm using vac drapes, which are very waterproof and at our adhesive. You'll see that I'm using it around the periphery of the wound. This will maintain a nice waterproof dressing preventing any feces or urine from getting in the wound. I drape it around the periphery. You don't have to put it on around the whole wound, just around the periphery to maintain a good seal on the corners, which is what we're doing. It's okay to remove gloves on this portion since I have the wound already covered. The father and the caregiver tell me there's not much drainage from the wound. We try to keep it really simple. We take off all our garbage. And as you can see, there's a nice dressing here that should last for 24 hours. 